Yes, sir. And I'm back. We'll be 13 and one, man. 13 and one. Like I said, it keep going up. Something I've never done before. I've never been 13 and one, but I am 13 and one. And we got the dub in the Windy City. When I say cold, cold, usually I go warm up. Not, not Sunday. No, no, I did not warm up. I warmed up inside, came outside, froze, hands froze. It was, it was crazy out there. It really is truly the Windy City, man. I've been playing in the division for seven years. And by far, this was the coldest game I played in in Chicago. It's ridiculous. I'm talking about on the sideline, frozen, bundled up with everybody. One time I have no jacket. You know, we got the big black jackets out there. One time we didn't. I had to share it one. I was not going to sit out there without a jacket. I shared one with my teammates. So I said, hard break. Come on, do me right. I got in there with them. I don't care. I just had to. It was too cold. <laughs> the star of the show yesterday, man. I still go with Jalen Hurts, even though AJ had an amazing game too. But I'm saying Jalen Hurts because the way I, he bounced back from the two early turnovers. He made a lot of plays, man. Definitely down the field. Kept trusting into himself. It's Windy City. I think Jalen had to adjust to how the wind was going. And, you know, we a pass-heavy team. So, Jalen, you know, had a couple balls sell from him, you know. Just, you know, he think he can make plays and this kind of stuff like that. But the wind did a lot of damage to his throws. But to come back out, 300-yard passing, three rushing tubs. Like I told y'all, he's undefeated with the quarterback sneak, the draw. If y'all saw the draw play, he kind of like checked to that. He saw the blitz. He kind of saw it coming. He knew how they were going to blitz. Great eyes and great vision by now. Clear lane. I don't know how many times he has a clear lane in the quarterback draw in the red zone. It's crazy. I know y'all saw my boy Jalen go down. But me knowing Jalen, I knew he was going to get up. I just knew. And I saw Malala go over there. I saw his report say that he said, get me the fuck up. He told him to stay down. He told him to get him the fuck up. But that's him. Jalen is a true, true dog. That's the type of moments he liked. He liked that kind of contact. That's why he be trying to know. You don't really too much see him slide. He's not scared of contact. You know, of course, he's our quarterback. We don't want him injured at all. He shouldn't be taking hits like that. But him taking hits like that, he go get up and, make, and be a man about it every time. He don't fear nothing, man. He He's tough. He got a character, man. He, he, he for the team. Everything I heard about Justin Fields is true. Yesterday is my first time playing him, seeing him in live action and not on the film. And when I say he is a real true highlight film, he's a highlight film. He's he's magnificent out there. I'm not gonna lie. You know, for that young of age, tough dude gets up at the contact. I'm talking about I've been watching film for a long time. And the years he's been in this league, he's been taking a beating. He began to hit a lot, but you see this man keep getting up. In our game, he got hurt a little banged up, went inside. We thought the game was like, okay. We ain't got to worry about spying on him no more. Bruh came back out. Good two-minute drive, scored a tug. But the play that was crazy, that excited me, that finally see in person, I think we had like a second alone. Then they just, you know, so we like, yeah, we finna get after him. My boy, Hassan Riddick, he's strong. Like, strong, strong. So I'm finna get his third sack. He threw that boy off on him. Scramble, I'm talking about running, breaking tackles, all that spinning like he a running back. As the kid is running, right, I'm in man coverage. So I'm chasing my man around. So it's called scramble drill. That's what we call it in the NFL. We call it a scramble drill. Anybody that plays football is called scramble drill. So as we scrambling around running, I'm chasing my dude. All you can tell is like, you know, the crowd tell you what's going on with the play. As he running, they were like, ooh, ah, ah, ah. And you can tell when a guy gets free. The crowd go crazy. That is his home. And I, all I heard is, yeah. So I'm like, oh, bro, must have got loose. So I turn my head, and he's right there on me, running. <laughs> Give him let that. So I'm coming to chase him. I made him cut back to TJ. TJ's another strong dude. Threw TJ off on him. Ah. I'm like, oh, no. So now I'm getting, I'm getting blocked because I'm, like, trying to make, you know, we call it keeping the cup, trying to keep him in the bundle so we can't know, keep leverage. He broke the leverage. We like, come on now. Like, this kid is unreal. So then he like, he did a nice little spin move with a spin with a toe tap. And I'm like, okay, bro, don't think he a quarterback. 
Broad think he's a running back, y'all. Running back. Like, what you say? Off oh, remember the Titans? The running back. Like, it's crazy. Like, man, real true highlight film. That was a crazy one. One of the best ones I've seen in a long, long time. And he reminds me a lot of Jalen Hurts, but a little bit bigger and a little bit faster. But man got a lot of potential, like a lot of potential. Like he's going to be very, very good. He got, a, I think he got a great coaching staff around him, man. They got to keep building around the kid. But the kid going to be special, man. He go, he going to light the NFL up, man. This is not going to be his last 1,000 yard rushing year either, obviously. And bro really runs a 4-4. Like he's legit fast. He can outrun DBs. I'll chase them. I'm like, okay, bro, a little fast. Let me speed up some more. You know, so he got the tools, man. And he a Georgia kid. You know, I got root for the Georgia, Georgia boy, you know, because I think we one of the best athletes in the world. We got the best football. Cause I swear Cali and Texas swear they better than the state of Georgia in football, high school ball. But y'all not stop playing with us. We the best state in high school. Easily. But yeah, the kid got a lot of upside, man. I'm looking forward to seeing his career keep growing. And Chicago's got a good a good guy in their hands right now, man. They just got to keep building around them. And I'm excited to keep watching them. You know, when my day is over with, I'm going to watch this kid a lot. A lot, a lot. You know, I'm going to make sure I keep checking on him, man. He's going to be special. Very special. And the score was tight all game. I know it looked like on the defensive side that we was like, you know, it should be a blowout type of game. But they defense played well as too. You got to get credit when credit is due. Them guys forced three turnovers. You know, turnovers is the key of victory. You know, we we always trying to win a turnover battle. As you see during the years, this whole year, our turnover ratio has been crazy. Like, we've been this high. We Everything. We're the best turnover team in the league. We control it. We keep the ball from the team, and we take the ball from the team. Last night, they took the ball away. They had three turnovers. I think we had one. That would make the game closer than what it was because when they turned the ball over, the ball was in their red zone. So they only had, like, 20 to 30 yards to go. And the guys capitalized. And them guys came out there and executed. They capitalized off our offense mistakes. But uh, we're a team. We knew the offense was going to get it together. And, and as they did, they sealed the game with a big boy A.J. catch on third and six with like a minute left when they had a chance to probably get a stop and get the time to try to go score again. But Swole Batman made a play. Big boy. Big boy catch. First down. Iced the game. Offense ended it. It was real smooth, real good. But them guys play hard ball, and um, and their defense kept them in the game this week, and and that's what's good for them, man. That's why I said they got a bright future over there. The best part of the game to me yesterday was to watch this amazing matchup. I knew he was going to travel. Jalen Johnson and A.J. Full Batman. I like Jalen Johnson. He's one of my little favorite young corners I've been watching for a good minute, man. I just gave a lot of props to him, but I was looking forward to watching him go against Swole Batman. It was a good matchup. But, you know, of course, Swole Batman got the best on because he just A.J. Brown, man. He make plays. In this game, it's hard to stop some of the best players in this league because the fact that you keep letting them give them opportunities to make plays, they're going to make plays. And that's what A.J. did. He kept making plays. Great tough battle. He had a couple PBUs, a couple pass breakups, but A.J. just a dog. You know, you got to top your head off the both of them. They both was out there competing, but A.J. is a true dog. You give A.J. one-on-one matchups all game, he going to take advantage of it. He's going to make all the big catches, all the good stuff. Right now, AJ has been incredible with the late hands right now. Like, late hands. Like, two seconds, he do it, uh, dropping his hand. Like, he got amazing ball skills. And you can see why he's so good in baseball. You know, I don't know if y'all did not know, but AJ is a two-sport guy. And you can tell when a guy got great hands, great vision, great ball, ball skills. And he got it. I'm talking about deep ball over the shoulder. Like, he don't look like he kind of like, you know, bend his head back. You know, sometimes I go like this. He just peek. He's peeking. And he wear the dark visor, so you can't see his eyes. That's something y'all receivers need to know. Y'all receivers that need to know something, man, wear the dark visor. I learned that from Calvin Johnson as well. He wore a dark visor, so DBs couldn't tell if he's looking back for the ball or not. So that's a good a little intel for y'all. So guys that wear dark visors, y'all kind of make it hard for us as DBs to see where your eyes are located. Some of y'all might can't see in dark visor, but them two can't. But, yeah, man, A.J. had a dog game yesterday. Man, he made big catches on third down, deep ball. And, A.J., you've been telling me you fast. I don't, he, he tried to tell me in the, on the bus, y'all. He tried to tell me that he thought he stepped out of bounds. So that's why he got ran down. I ain't trying to hear that, A.J. I watched your film all in Tennessee. Every time you broke loose, you was not getting ran down. Since you've been a Philadelphia Eagle, you've been getting ran down. 
I'm talking about uh last night yesterday, we've got ran down against uh fillers. You're supposed to have score. Come on, AJ man, let me see the speed. As y'all know me, man, I'm a fair dude. Very fair. I like the matchup, man. Jalen Johnson did the best what he could do. Of course, he could have made some plays there. He like this this far away from making every play, but AJ just makes the play. Like he had a very, very solid game, man. I gave him a good grade on the game, man. Even though he got beat on some plays, but they big time play. That's good on good. That's what you want to do. You know, that was tough catches he had to make. I was looking forward to him, you know, meeting him personally after the game, but I saw that he went down, man. I was kind of like disappointed because I wanted to meet him, man, talk to him, chop it up, give him some little point of views. I just, you know, pick his brain a little bit. I'm not one of them veteran guys to think I'm bigger and better than anybody to not ask questions because I like his game. I watch his game. I study his film. And he's one of the new – he's a new upcoming corner in the league right now. And people don't know because they got a losing record over in Chicago. I've been in them shoes before in Detroit when everybody's overlooking and not really paying attention to your game. I'm paying attention, big dog. You're doing your thing, man. You earn some money for sure. And you keep doing what you're doing, man, and keep building on off this game, man, because I don't think it was a solid game. I don't think it was a bad game for you. It was a very, very solid game for you, man. Let you know that you really how to compete. And you uh you get after it, man. I, I appreciate your game, man. I appreciate how hard you're working. And one of these days, man, we can link up, man, get some DB drills, get some tips from each other, man, to get each other better, man. I'm with it. Now, let's get into your boy play. Big play slay. You know what I'm saying? Let's get into it, man. Yesterday, I didn't get too much action. Made a couple of tackles. Got one PBU on a nice play. You know what I'm saying? A big third down stop. But overall, man, I'll I be, I be out there really kind of chilling, man. And I knew I, knew I probably wouldn't get too much action because I saw the injury report. One of their top receivers, Moody, went down. Uh, they traded for Claypool. He went down. So I knew I probably wouldn't get so much action because, you know, them, them guys, they're the guys. And, you know, we knew kind of knowing they're going to win that they're going to be a heavy run team, maybe boot, play action kind of stuff because the guy can run and roll around a good bit. But – I ain't get no action, and, and I know which y'all part of you want to know. Like, how do I stay focused? Well, this is how I stay focused for Slay to stay sane out there on the field. I be out there cracking jokes. I'm out here making everybody laugh. Everybody kind of serious. Not I. I'm out here laughing, playing around. Just still doing my job at a high level, though. Don't get it twisted. I am locked in. But me, for me to stay locked in, I got to crack a little jokes. You know what I'm saying? So I'm talking cracking on jokes. I'm going to give y'all a play. I cracked the joke on one time, right? During the middle of the game, right, it was a boot to my left. The sign Riddick was trying to go for the pick, and it went through his hands. But dude tried to make a diving light pick and kicked me all in the leg. And he looking at me talking about, dang, Slade, you trying to get me hurt? Bro, move out of the way. I said, no, bro, this is my area, my flat. You in my space. I could have went to go pick that by me not being selfish. I try to let him go get it. And in the cause of that, I got kicked in the groin. So me and him just joke, joking around on the sideline about that all day. And it was funny, man. A funny moment, man, because he think he can catch. Bro, think he could be a tight end. And he think he's faster than a lot of us. So I love to see him get the ball in his hand and run with it anyway. But, yeah, man, that's kind of one of the little funny moments we had on the field, man. We just got that crack of jokes. And I told him I threw your little strip sack. You could have hopped up, found the ball, and ran to go get it. But. You know, he didn't want to be great. He just wanted to be good right there and making that little strip sack. But that's my dog, man. But, yeah, I don't get too much action that last night, man. I didn't. But I had to stay locked in, be very detailed. And that's the main part about being in the game, man. You got to be detailed. You got to know your assignment. You cannot get relaxed. As soon as I got relaxed, yeah, a big play will happen. And that done happened to me before. And I learned that from my boy, Glover Quinn. And this is one of the times where we playing Minnesota. Had a solid game. I'm clamping up everybody. We up by, like, two scores. I ain't give up no catches. Next thing you know, I'm relaxing, just back there chilling. I like got two balls calling me for, like, 40 yards. I'm like, oh, Lord, messed up a good game for me. And that's the day I learned, like, uh, take no game off. Take no plays off. Take nothing off. Always stay locked in. Because when I tell you, Glover Quinn, a.k.a. GQ, snapped on me, oh, yeah. It's like, he don't cuss. But when he clapped his hands about five times, them five cuss words, he was like, slay Lock in. So I know he basically said, Slay, lock the fuck in before I come over there and get on your ass. That's what he said. Easily. I know that's what he said in his brain. Quick. But so 
I learned from that moment and I always stay locked in from here on out because I don't want nobody to get on me. Looking ahead, man, we have a big game coming up this week, Christmas Eve. It's my first time ever playing on Christmas Eve. And we play against who? The Dallas Cowboys. Probably going to be one of the biggest games of the week. You know, I'm looking forward to it, man. You know, great challenge for us, man, divisional. You know, so, of course, if we want to got to win this game, you know, we got three games left, but we want to win this one. We got to focus on this one, man. The playoffs coming up soon. I know we locked in for a spot in the playoffs, but this game means a lot to us. You know, division rivals, you know, punching the one seed. So all kind of stuff is up for stake right now in this one. You know, I'm not worried about, you know, the seed or whether we clinching or not right now. But I am focused on whipping them. I need We need to get a dub. It's a divisional game, man, and it's real big for us because, like I said, one thing I know about this division and this rivalry, it's big. I didn't understand that before, the first two years I got here. I'm like, man, it's just a game. You know what I'm saying? I'm just lined up like a game. I always treat all games just like a game. But coming over here, it's real it's real business. Like, they really – it's real hardcore beef. And, um, I mean, I'm not a beefy person. I'm not with all the beefing because, you know, we all just, you know, football players. And I honestly believe that these seats that we are in are rented. Like, we're not going to be here forever. But I'm going to take it serious. Like, don't guys take it serious because they approach the game in a serious way. But, yeah, man, it's going to be big, you know. Shout out to my boy Dak, playing good. Man, you know, Hell State, that's my dude. You know, I know even though he's a cowboy, that's still my brother. Like I always say, that is my guy. But I do want to win. But they're doing pretty good, man. Still great, great running back attack. I bet, you know, I, I don't have to watch them to know, you know, Pollard and, and Zeke, they really good together, man. They really can run the ball, man. I see they just got Tyron Smith back off the IR list, so they got another veteran player coming back. It's going to be a good game, man. I'm looking forward to it. You know, I'm not going to hype it up too much because y'all going to do all the hyping for us. We ain't got to hype it up. You know what I'm saying? It's the next game for me. But the fans, I know how y'all feeling, man. It's one of the biggest games. We could be 0-13, but we better be 2-0 against the Dallas Cowboys. I already know y'all feel like we have a winning season if we beat them boys 2-0, and we could be 2-13 and all year. Hey, man, that's all I have today, man. Make sure y'all subscribe to the value, man. Tell a friend to tell a friend. To come tune in with your boys, man. We got some good stuff going on over here, man. Make sure y'all subscribe to us, man. And then again, make sure y'all have an amazing Christmas this weekend, man. Have a great holidays, man. Your boy Big Play is out.